What's up, everyone? It's Eric from Option Edge, and tonight I'm looking at the SPX S&P 500 index, and I found a really good, nice chart that just shows this trend line. Um, and we're sort of at a, a pretty important point. Uh, it's sort of do or die if we break this trend line. Um, we're most likely going to see a pretty big turn to the downside. Um, so that's the S&P. Let's go over and check out the NASDAQ. And here's the NASDAQ, similar type situation. We have this trend line um, uh, from all the way back in, uh, what is that, May of uh, 2021. And we are at a very pivotal point right now. And we're hoping, hopefully, going to hold this. If we don't, we could really see um, some blood coming up. And here's Microsoft, which has had such a great run. Um, as you can see, this this trend line isn't quite as intact as some of those other ones. Um, it sort of doesn't really hold true here. Um, a little wonky here and a little bit wonky here. Um, but obviously another pivotal point that we are at. All right, and here's my last one. I'm going to show you just this is Facebook or Meta platforms now. Um, just another similar situation where we have this uh, trend line and uh, if we break below, we could see some serious bloodbath. Um, and why why am I showing you this? The reason why I'm showing you this is obviously growth stocks have been getting absolutely smashed. And some of the the uh, uh, people I've been following online, um, and I'll show you. Let me let's hop over to his profile. Uh, let's go over there now. Um, so I'm over here at uh, Peru Saxena. He's a uh, in, retired hedge fund money manager. Uh, lives in Hong Kong. Just uses his own just uh, trades his own money and he tweets about it. He's got a quarter of a million followers. And I'll tell you what, this guy has been right on the money. Um, I've been following him for almost a year now. Called out basically the top in the growth cycle uh, bubble in November 20, uh, 2021. And he sold most of his stocks. Then um, he's hedged uh, ARC. He's he's short ARC. Uh, he's also short, currently short the, uh, the NASDAQ. And um, I've been following his tweets for a while, and he, he he's talking about what he's currently short. He's uh, hedged via ARC, and he's short NASDAQ futures. And um, one of the things he's been preaching is that he thinks that after the growth stocks have uh, come into a downturn, that's the larger mega caps like the Microsofts, the Apples, the Facebooks, and the indices all, will eventually crack down and might go down 20 to 25 percent um, from here. And then, since growth has already gone, gone he, he writes a little bit here. Most most growth stocks have already been smashed, 50 to 70 percent. Um, he thinks here we are closer to the bottom. But if we go down, if the major indices go down another 20 percent, expect growth stocks to get slammed even more so. Um, so that's where my head's at. Um, right now going into this weekend my uh, I, i'm not gonna lie my trading account is is uh compared to where it was last february as we we go to this february it's uh it's pretty sad to see how far uh my trading account has gone down um nonetheless uh you have to sometimes realize you're in a bubble and this whole past year of 2020 to 2021 we were definitely in a bubble as stocks forexed in less than like 12 months, pretty wild. And you know, when you're caught up in it, you think uh, you think you're smart. You think, um, yeah, you know, something that other people don't. Even though everyone's stocks were up, it doesn't didn't even matter. So, um, so just some interesting uh, stuff. And as we head into the weekend, let me just show you uh, first squawk. Let's check out what they're saying about yeah, Nasdaq futures slip by almost up 1%. So let's hold on, hold on to your butts and we'll see how tomorrow plays out in the rest of the week. All righty, take it easy, peace out.